and then very emotional guys invested and I said you know what's crazy guys I think we got better this week but we don't have anything to show for it and so let's just keep grinding and keep plugging and uh, we probably since we played Cincinnati back to your question we, we probably understand a little bit more of who we are um, but that's still a work in progress too mm -hmm. how do you fight, how do you close out games like yeah. when, when games are close who can close for yeah them? I think we're still searching for that Tom mm -hmm. I mean you know, especially away from our building, we've been able to close a couple out here. You know, that's where I think uh, experience and we're still searching for that. And, you know, who are, who are we offensively down the stretch? Um, you know, we, we, we didn't make we, – we had some not-so-smart plays on defense too, just young plays. We, we, played, we played young and inexperienced. Um, both games last week, that, and 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 you just you just can't beat a pretty good team on the, out of your away from your building, <clears throat> unless you play a little older, a little smarter, and that's only going to come by more and more experience and game situations and practice. You were worried about the psyches, but after the Illinois game, like what if you had lost that game? Yeah. How do you manage massage the psyches after the last two, and then going back to a building you really haven't had much luck in the last two? Years? Yeah, I, I think I think for this group it's been can come in and teach every day, um, understand the big picture with this group, you know, because the, the younger guys look and really want guidance. Um, and, and so we have just tried to just come in every day. Here's what we got to do better. Here's some things I need to help you with more and kind of flush it and move on kind of mentality. And I, I think that's how we're going to have to be with this group all year. What do you have to do to be Purdue? What are some well, you know, the, the, ama up. the amazing thing about the Purdue statistics when you think about their program, and Matt's done an unbelievable job with that program, is you look at their stats and what jumps out to you is half their field goal attempts are threes. They're a three-point shooting team now. After beating you up in the post with the big fellas all these years, they've gone all the way the other way. And, it, and it's not just Edwards or Klein. You know, they've got other guys that can make shots. So getting out and defending the arc are really a key. Now, we played a lot of teams that have come through our building that have been three-point shooting teams that we've had to chase out. And so I'm hoping some of those habits and routes will be consistent. How would you define Edwards and what do you have to do to defend him? I think him? he's a great story. You know, Matt's done an unbelievable job with him. He was under-recruited. He's just gotten better every year. Um, you know, he's going to get some and he's going to make some tough ones. I think a lot of different guys have to guard him. Do we double team sometimes off of ball screens? All of those things. I just don't think you can get discouraged when he makes tough ones because he's just one of those guys. And, and hopefully you don't have other guys light you up. What's it been like 